Chicago. That had to be the wildest tour story of all time. It was that meet and greet after the show. And yes, I, I, I sing fuck songs. I do. People want to go home and fuck some of my music. I get it. But why I didn't peep is during this meet and greet, there was a particular couple that were kind of standing off to the wayside, waiting for everyone else to get their autograph so they could wait until last. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, they're just being courteous. People have somewhere to go. They just want to hang around. No, they want to wait so they can privately ask me whether or not it was okay for them to give me a suitcase full of money to have a threesome that night. On disclosure of said figure of the amount of money that I would be receiving, I contemplated for all of 0.7 seconds. Now, in real time, that's a long time to consider anything that you've never done before. Did I do it? I was seeing someone at the time, but not seeing them enough to care that there's all this money and all these people want me to do is have threesome with them. I was like, I've watched porns before. I know how, I know how they go down. Sure, that's easy. No. Bravo, Chicago. <laughs> now you get down. Now, I do meet and greets. Before every show, after every show. And I just happened to be in said city. I won't even name this name, but I know that it was during the performance of So Good or 69 that possibly made this person feel like it was okay to ask me this. They asked me whether or not it was okay to fulfill their lifelong dream. And I was like, well, what's your lifelong dream? Their lifelong dream was to smell my neck. No. I kind of looked around for a little bit, like he didn't just say this, because it was creepy anyway. Not that he was a creepy guy, it was just, you know, a little overzealous, I guess. You know, hey, here's your poster, I'll sign it, shake hands, hugs, take a pic, smell your neck. Oh, no neck smelling. Or he could have done it on the low, and I never would have known and he could have just fulfilled his dreams. But he had to tell me. Then he said, I'm sorry for making this weird. Too late. <laughs> it's already weird. The boys in the OVO crew thought it would be funny to put my sign, my Janae Eagle dressing room sign on this little, it looked like a door for like small people. Y'all so famous, who who do we know that y'all y'all play with? Or, you know, whatever. We're like, dude, turn around, you know what I mean? And he's like, fuck you. We get to the car, I turn around, and it's her and the mom. And I'm like, come here. She's like, well, I was like, yo, um, you know, you know why I'm inviting you? But she's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, so 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 what's your mama about to do? She's like, oh, she wanted to come with us. This is my first time in Paris. I was so looking forward to this and it just becomes a shit show immediately. But my ninja training in being a hardworking artist knows that when that shit happens, you stop the show and you show them what you got. So I stopped the show and I rocked the rest of the song. We were doing a Lauryn Hill cover and I rocked it um, acapella. 